Greetings guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monette and this is my channel Evolve with Monette. For those of you that are new here, I am a professional intuitive empath and for my A1 Day ones, I am wrapping some gifts for some friends that I'll be visiting here shortly. So if you hear a noise, that's what's happening. But uh, what I want you to understand is that I just got a download and it's so catchy that I had to get on here and share it. I hope I did not undercut that paper. You know how you do that and then you're like, why? Why did I cut so little? I still need more. What I heard was not even a breakup could sully, ruin, or change your cosmic makeup. What does that mean, Monette? I'm so happy you asked. What that means is that even people from your past that may have looked upon you unfavorably because you broke up with them or the relationship came to an end, whether they broke up with you, whoever was the breaker, somebody did some kind of breaking and there were other things that you guys had to do, other soulmates that you had to encounter, other lessons that you had to get through. Your angels want you to know that even being away from you and especially being away from you caused them to realize your incredible value. Not even a breakup could change your cosmic makeup, meaning that they still consider you to this day, even in the wake of the absence, even in the uh, aftermath of the pain, one of the best people that they ever knew. 10 toes down again and again and again. Okay, we love that. And so what they want you to understand is that if you were in situations with people where even you had to do something for your survival, for your self-esteem, because they refuse to honor your value. And here's the spoiler alert with this, guys. No one's going to honor your value but you. If you allow people to walk over you or treat you badly, they will. Very often, people around us know exactly what our value is, but they're going to see what they can get away with. Have any of you guys ever worked at like a low-level job where you were bored out of your mind and you definitely knew what the rules, quote, quote were but because you were bored and maybe knew how to do the job very well you did anything 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 just me I hope it's not just me I definitely have been one of those persons before when I hated a place that I had been and I'd figure out all of the shortcuts sometimes people in relationships have done that with us so it's not that they hated us or hated the job but they may have thought what can I get away with or very much the t the idea of when the cat's away the mouse will play sometimes in our relationship dynamics people take us for granted and they're like what can I get away with mm, they let me get away with this before let's see if they will settle for me treating them more deplorably than I ever have so that will happen but always in the back of their mind because I know the collective that shows up here you guys are divine and you treat people well. Mr. Chalk Chalk, I'm thinking of you and the fresh hell that you've just been through and extricating yourself from someone who didn't value you. And they cannot tell a single lie in your absence because they would be struck down, because the lie would be told. They know exactly what kind of power you did hold. They know that you were the best partner, the best friend, the best connection, one of the best soulmated energies that you ever that they ever encountered and it's not up for debate you know how you know it's not up for debate they spin the block they think about you they send energetic and cosmic messages your way and so when that happens that's their way of saying even if you've never spoken to an ex or a, uh, an old friend flame whatever it was for you from the past they definitely held you in the highest of regards. And so that's what you need to know. Even when it's hard, Rain, I think of you today and the energy that you gave so beautifully to the partner and the divine masculine in your life. That person knows that all you brought him was love and never strife. In fact, the only strife that he invited into his life is when he chose third party dynamics, which were other soulmate connections. Unfortunately, it's hard for us to hear, but sometimes people have to go in that direction to learn what to fear and to learn when actual love is near and ready to envelop them. So that's the cosmic lesson today. Your DNA is not altered <clears throat> with any of the delays and the breakups. People know that you were still 10 toes down. People still can speak of you as good, even in their quiet moments, that they would never utter another word to another soul to admit what kind of love took hold in their heart that you gave them. They know. <laughs> they know in the quiet of the night. They know when no one's looking. They know when they miss you, when they wish 
like they still had your arms and energy to be into. They know exactly how well you treated them. They know exactly what a blessing you were to them. And they know that they defeated themselves by treating you badly. That's the beautiful thing about having integrity. And the collective that I work with, I am so proud to say, traffics in integrity every single day. You guys have often, too often, given that beautiful love away. And those people that played with that love that you gave now wish that they did not play because they are in, I would say, love deficit graves, meaning they are not receiving near the level of care and connection and, and of concern and true investment into friendship, honesty, and loyalty. During some of my disembarkations from relationships that were beneath me, and why were they beneath me? Not because I'm better than anybody, but because I know that I am worthy of being loved properly. And that means that you advocate for yourself in various ways. And so when I would leave connections where people were playing in my face, even as I was leaving, and they may not have understood what was happening, but energy is shared, they would say to me, uh, I remember one uh, narcissist saying to me, gosh, it's so good that you understand loyalty. Because fill in the blank, she named the, the other narcissist that she was uh, triangulating me with, the new supply, just doesn't get it. And that probably meant that that narcissist had hurt her feelings that day and had triangulated her with somebody else. And I thought the irony. And I remember chuckling to myself thinking, oh my God, you're going to miss me. That's one of my favorite places to be with narcissists when they have no idea idea that uh, you are <laughs> the last stop on all of the care that they ever would need. Now, not just narcissists, but maybe toxic people or people that took you for granted in any way. Again, everyone is not a narcissist and that must be something I say. But that's what you need to know. They miss your energy and they speak of you highly in their soul to themselves or to people around them when, that will listen. Also, maybe to uh, no one if they're just crying into their beer or their cocktail or their drugs or their escapism or their multiple sex partners or that lower vibrational third party or the karmic or you name it. They know. And that's the juxtaposition that they will have to live in. And that was cause for them to grow. They needed to lose you to know. So so people think of you highly still. You are thought of as love. You are thought of as, as kindness. And you are thought of as the real deal. Because you never changed your energy signature and your emotional print. You loved, excuse me, you loved them completely. And you gave them the best of everything. And here's why I say that this is important. And that you should actually model it in every single relationship that you have. Because you always want to know that upon having to exit a connection, that you did the best that you could. Now, maybe that's my West Indian mother coming through. She always said, good, better, best. Never let it rest till you make your good better and your better best. Good, better, best. Never let it rest till you make your good better and your better best. So she would say that to me and sing that to me. And I, and my mom is a Gemini, so riddles were always what it would be. But now I'm so grateful because those riddles actually helped me be more proficient in my career completely. I'm so grateful. Good, better, best. Never let it rest till you make your good better and your better best. What that means is in every relationship, you will get better at loving. You will get better at understanding. You will get better at giving. You will get better at knowing where your boundaries are and know what you're needing. You'll get better at communicating. And so even if you may not have been at your zenith and peak in the relationship where you had to leave or where they betrayed you or hurt you, you learn so much about yourself in the way we empaths always do. You learn how to transmute. You learn how to evolve. And I guarantee you, they will come back to you and say, didn't we almost have it all? And you did. But what that what was missing was what they would give. And that's where I'm so proud of you. Because if you're listening to this today, you decided to love you in a very special way. You decided no longer in your face would these users and abusers play. You decided that you could walk away and live another day and you will have exactly the love you deserve because you give that out and you know your worth, but also you know when to walk away. You know when to hold them. You know when to fold them. You know when to walk away and you know when to run. You never count your emotional dollars where you're sitting at the table with narcissistic terrorists. There'll be time enough for counting when there's real love that's come in. 
and the dealing is done. You did exactly the right thing. They can't say a bad word about you if there's an honest bone in their body. Even if the true serum of alcohol is in their body, they have to tell the truth. Quietly when they cry or in stupors or on their deathbeds, because some of them, for them, death is nigh. For for some of them, just the loss of whatever connection they, they pushed you away for is nigh. So a death of some, him channeling death here, unfortunately. So endings. So that's what I, I purport it to be more so than an actual death. It may be figuratively, especially since we're in eclipse season and Mercury retrograde, the truth is coming out and the X is always resurfaced in this manner. And so what you need to know is that they're thinking about you and they're thinking, damn, I should have treated her better when I had her or him as the story may be, or them, whatever your identity. They should have treated you better when they had you because they have never found another person like you. You were unique, <laughs> alien superstar, Beyonce, go listen if you need to be inspired into your luxurious identity. You were unique. You were something to see. You were something that has not been seen before. You treated them beautifully. More, more, more. How do you like it? That's how they want it. And now they know exactly how good love could be. They can't speak a bad word about you because you lived integrally. I advise you as you move forward into your life to love everybody fully, full out. Yes, yes, fully. Monette, really? Give your heart out that way? It hurts too much. In her hermit mode, I want to stay. I understand hermit mode. I was there for many years, but... That is not how we heal. We heal by loving again and embracing those fears. It doesn't mean it will always be easy. It doesn't mean there will not be miscommunications. It doesn't mean that you may not get hurt. But it does mean that after the lessons of the person that totally took you for granted, you now know your worth. And that is invaluable. And that worth deserves to be shared. I was watching the crappy childhood fairy, one of my favorite therapists here on YouTube. And she was talking about the truth that is so secretly never uttered, but is felt and known by real healers that are doing the work we actually heal in other relationships. And I can personally attest to this. You have talked, you heard me talk often about my bestie, but that is w one of the premier relationships in my life where I healed a lot of the hurt that was heaped upon me, that I allowed a lot of the issues that I allowed to fester because of my own codependency, that I worked through healing with therapists and the rest. However, it was exactly the place where I needed to be. I could not have given the kind of love that my bestie gave to me. I gave myself self-love by walking away and not letting uh, the narcissist and terrorist in my face play. That was my first step to saying, I choose me. And then the universe said, well, then we choose you too, actually. And they sent in bestie who loved me so well. She kind of nursed me back to health and made me well. But I also did the work actively. You will heal in relationships that are wholesome and nurturing and you deserve that. Welcome that in. Yes, pushing people away keeps you safe. And yes, people will try to play in your face. Empaths, it never stops. <laughs> There's a new narcissist that will want to come by every day. But the beautiful thing about in those really traumatic uh, come to Jesus, turn of life, soul crushing, dark night of the soul moments, those tower moments that take hold, you will learn exactly for that never to be your reality again. And you will never let anybody try your play you to that degree. You you have developed a new skin and it's very thick actually and also you have developed neuroplasticity meaning you understand how to navigate through waters of relationship and that deserves to be casted out back into those beautiful rivers and lakes where there are so many fish to be tested again because that's the beauty of any real growth is knowing that against another person not just physically but there's a juxtaposition of bouncing energy that actually helps you grow and that's why I say love people completely. There is no relationship that I am in from bestie to lover to friend to spouse to client that I don't give the best of myself. That doesn't mean I'm my best every day. I'm not. <laughs> I have uh, extenuating circumstances that cause me all kinds of issues that I have to deal with on a daily thing. But my, my aim here is never to do harm. Very much that. I consider myself a practitioner. And while I have not taken the Hippocratic Oath of a doctor, do no harm is definitely the way that I lead. But I lead with that way, actually, in relationship, because we don't sometimes uh, people who didn't cut us will make us bleed. 
or we can make people bleed who we who didn't cut us okay so you have to be so careful so love people completely if my anything you name it fill in the blank were to end today i could walk away saying i did the best i communicated the deepest i gave everything i could that way i have no regrets when it's over because i know that i did my part i showed up so live full out even for the new connections that come in that may feel scary and you're not sure what they're about i give a thousand percent if someone falters and pulls back and they act whack and they don't know and they're unsure and they may have manifested something but then it's too much for them y'all that's okay too then you move on there's always a new boo and i know a lot of you guys are have spit in hermit mode or like no it couldn't be true it's absolutely true okay so love people completely live in that empath integrity because no one has a bad word to say about you even if they're talking crap even if they do a smear campaign they understand the truth and you cannot take the Lord's name in vain. And let me explain what that means. God is us. God is within us. So if they are blaspheming you and talking about the things you did or didn't do, it doesn't mean you were perfect in that relationship, but it means that you were true. Hold space for yourself in that. Honor yourself in that and know that that is you. There are so many people that I can think of in my past that whether I'm in their life or not, they remember having a fucking blast with me for a myriad of reasons. And they can say, damn, I hate the way that it ended. Or Monette didn't do this. Or she didn't hear me. Or I wish she would have let me explain once more again. Y'all, let that end. I don't do too many explanations once I get a, an emotional beat on something. I'm like, okay, I already read you. I got you. Uh, we 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 might be able to talk about something, but only so many times because narcissists love to get you in word salad debate. So be careful with that. That must be a message for someone. Not something I've been dealing with anytime recently, but in this Mercury retrograde, a narcissist will definitely try to pull you back into the undertow of trying to hear their side about their bullshit once mo, and we're not doing that. But here's the thing. Be cool with the people that you love. Give them everything you have energetically. Don't be used. Of course, wait for reciprocity. Yeah, yeah. But uh, definitely know that if you live that way, you're doing it with integrity. And even the people that say they hate your guts can do nothing but put up and shut up. Because when the truth of your memory comes wafting through their brain, they will wish things were back how they were before. Before they inflicted the pain. Before they didn't cooperate. Before they didn't communicate. Before they treated you like you were a non-playing factor a non-playing persons in the game when you may have been one of the main characters in their mainframe and they were so blissfully igno ignorantly and purposely willfully unaware that you were there not to cause pain but to bring elevation and for you both to have gains that's what relationships are all about both of you having gains where you're not chasing for clout you're not competing you're not trying to outdo each other when you find relationships like that cherish them and honor them it's a delicate balance you will have to feed into your friends when you are empty you will have to feed into your lovers when you have nothing you will have to find a way to make sure that someone's needs are met and not in the overgiving way that we have often done empath please never forget all the work you've done to unleash yourself from a lot of the codependent behaviors you deserve interdependency relationships are one of the most beautiful things and i cannot tell you enough how grateful i am that you guys share energy with me this parasocial relationship that we have i am grateful for and i thank you completely because you guys have helped me heal too just by showing up here with me for me by chatting with me in the comments by sending me letters and sharing your stories you see relationships aren't all bad. How many of you guys thought you'd be talking to someone through a screen? I never think I thought I would, but I'm so grateful that you're here and it's been so good. And even in this, I try to hold space and be integral because when a new teacher comes in for you, I want you to look back at me from the next channel that you're on to and say, she was good to me and she was honest with me and she did the things that she said she would do and she showed up in the ways that she said she would. And that's what all relationships can be. Just try to be as good as you can be. I don't get it right every day, but for those of you that have stayed, I thank you. I love this place and this safe space that we've created. Now go out and remember, you are magic. And they, while it may be hotly debated by the people that may have hated that it were around them, that didn't want your influence around them, they cannot dispute the truth. You were the best thing that ever came through their life and you really love them and in your absence they understand exactly why even you had to leave them because you love you always choose you empath
I'm so grateful to share energy with you. Come back and join me next time. And we'll continue to evolve together. <laughs>